Hey guys, this is Miss Motivation coming at you with a video. Um, it's nighttime and um, just basically in my relaxing clothes and just relaxing. I uh, took my son today to the parade and ended up with a, um, a real bad headache. I hadn't really ate and I think the sun where it was hot, I just got a bad headache so we came home after the parade was over and um, he actually, um, we both took showers and now we're just relaxing. I'm getting ready to watch Netflix, but I wanted to give you this video because this is um, the most requested one that I have so far. And basically, the big question is, is Miss Motivation, you give us all of this stuff, but basically, when you started your journey, what exactly were you doing and how was it helping you lose weight? So I'm getting ready to go into detail exactly on everything that I was doing, summing it up in one small handful of things so you can kind of chart this stuff down. So get you a pen, get you a piece of paper, chart this stuff down. These are the the most important things that you need to know on starting your journey what you need to do okay and I really want you to listen up carefully and I really want you to write this stuff down if you are very serious about this I wouldn't even have to ask you to write it down because you're gonna want to anyway that's just the way it is so guys this is miss motivation welcome to my channel if you are not a subscriber please subscribe to my channel please hit the bell for notifications so that um, you can get every video that I put up and out and um, give me a thumbs up share the video if you feel like the content is good and that you um, know that it would help someone also leave me a comment Leave me a comment. If you watch this video, please subscribe if you're not a subscriber. There is a lot of good content on here. If you watched my video from yesterday at work, it was not very. Um, it's kind of loud in my job, so the video was not the way I really wanted it to be. I was so excited because one of my coworkers actually um, took some advice and started her aloe vera juice and... I'm telling you guys, in four days, you, you've you got to watch the video and find out how much she lost in four days off of aloe vera juice, okay? I'm not going to give away the secret. I want you to go watch it. Watch the full video. It's not very long. And then after you watch that video, if you haven't seen the um, video that I um, actually put up and out about aloe vera, you need to go watch, back and watch that. You just have to. If you have not incorporated aloe vera in your diet, honey, you don't know what you're missing. You don't know what aloe vera would do for you. I don't care what else you're doing. Uh, 310 Nutrition, um, Teamy Tea, um, whatever diet regimen you're following, if you incorporate that, you are guaranteed to drop water weight and just pounds, period. I promise you. So go back and watch the video. But anyway, let's get into this video, okay? So, the most important things when you are starting your journey. First of all, you have to, what is your goal? That's the question that you have to have in mind. What, what, what is my goal? Why do I want to do this? When I got into it, I wanted to do it because I wanted a more healthier lifestyle. I wanted to be able to look at myself and feel good about myself. And I wanted to lose weight because I had so much extra weight that it was causing me to continuously have pain everywhere. I stayed swollen. I had back pain, knee pain. I had headaches constantly. I had um, swollen feet, swollen fingers, you know, um, belly bloatedness. Wasn't having bowel movements properly. Wasn't even barely going to the bathroom, okay? So, and of course I wasn't eating right. So that was just, I had to figure out what my goals were. So number one, you want to figure out your goal, why you want to lose weight. And you need to write that down on a piece of paper. Get you a journal. I had a journal. I wrote everything down. Okay. 
So get you a journal and write down why you want to lose weight, okay? Secondly, you want to um, recognize, give recognition on how you want to do it. How do you want to lose weight? What are your goals? What are you actually um, willing to risk or to sacrifice to reach your goal? Me, um, I was a heavy drinker on soda. Big Red was my, my baby. That was my baby. I had to have it. But big, even though Big Red was my baby, I wasn't Big Red's baby because Big Red was causing me to gain a lot of weight and to stay swollen, okay? I was addicted to Big Red. It was pitiful, and the more and more I drank it, the more and more I started gaining weight, staying swollen. I was very unhealthy. I got to 236 pounds, and when I tell you, it was like a sickening weight. It was, I just felt sick. I felt old. To be as young as I was in my late 20s, I felt old, okay? It was no joke. All right. So, um, write down how you plan to lose the weight. What I plan to do, I first, I there were some things that I wrote down that I was sacrificing. Soda, getting rid of my sugars and breads. Those were my weaknesses. Those were my downfalls. And stopped going out to eat as much. Ugh. I'm sorry. Eating fast food. I'm so sorry. It's been a long, busy day, but it's been fun. Family day for me and my son. Um, so you definitely want to figure out that. What you want to sacrifice. What are you willing to give up for this weight loss? What are you willing to do? And you need to do it and make up your mind. No matter, Because on this journey, you are going to have people that is going to be against everything that you're doing. You're going to have watchers and you're going to have people, you're going to have talkers. They're always going to be negative about something that you're doing, no matter what it is. It's just how it is. I had, oh, you shouldn't do that or you don't have to eat that like that or you don't have to, you know, um, do this. And why are you eating that? And, you know, you have to know what you're doing for yourself be instead of listening to what everybody else because everybody's going to have an opinion they didn't have an opinion when you were setting up eating everything gaining all the weight but as soon as you want to start losing it everybody's got to put their two cents in it and you know what at this point or that point i didn't want your two cents because you didn't have two cents to help me so don't give me two cents now to try to change what i'm trying to do to better myself point blank so number one, recognize. Number two, ask yourself. Recognize your goal. Number two, ask yourself what do you plan to do to reach that goal. Number three, um, meal prepping is important. That is a key factor. You want to meal prep. Always have something prepared and ready. Even if you're the only one in the house that's dieting, if you make something for the family, um, try to make sure that you have something prepped up for yourself. Um, what I did, I kept it easy. I did not calorie count. And I went and bought me containers. So, go get you some containers. And um, with those containers... You want to make sure that everything is saucer-like and something that's smaller than a saucer. A uh, saucer is basically going to be um, like you're going to have a bowl for breakfast, your main bowl. You're going to eat oats. I ate oats for breakfast. Uh, for lunch, that saucer that you got, that's going to be your salad. And you can do two saucers full of salad. Two small saucers full of salad. That's your lunch. And lunch is going to be your biggest meal. Dinner, small. Because it's late and your body 
takes your body has slowed down so your body is not working as hard as it did at lunchtime so for dinner you are going to eat less so the body doesn't have to work more to get rid of whatever you got in or whatever you put in and you want to make sure that you drink plenty of water all day long all day strong plenty of water I always got one of these bad boys with me it's like my baby you gotta to learn to love water that's very important because if you don't learn to love water that everything that you try to do it could somehow fail because your body is made up of so much water if you don't know about water and you're not educated on it go back and look at my video I've got a video on that too I'm educating you baby I'm trying to get you together okay so meal prep and drinking plenty of water okay So those are keys. Well, Miss Motivation, how much water should I drink? Honey, over kill the water. If you are not a water drinker, just drink it. Eight glasses, eight, eight, eight ounce glasses of water is a very good start for you. That That's really what you should have. If you don't, um really want to do it like that get you a gallon jug of water make sure you drink a gallon of water a day okay um another thing that helped me so miss motivation what should i eat while i'm on my diet oh it's so simple i'm gonna tell you three main meats you should eat turkey chicken and fish okay Turkey, chicken, and fish. And my vegetables that I ate was broccoli, cabbage, kale, spinach, and zucchini. Those were my five main veggies. Really simple. You can switch them up and never. Only this was for me. Now you can do whatever you want to do, but this was for me. I did not eat those veggies out of a can. Of course, broccoli don't come in a can. Uh, spinach does come in a can. Zucchini don't come in a can. Cabbage don't come in a can. Kale, it will come in a can. If you can, try to make sure you get all of those veggies fresh. Turkey, chicken, fish. Let me tell you something. If you are a pork eater and you can do turkey, chicken, and fish for a whole month, I promise you, just from that alone, 15 to 20 pounds. If you can give get rid of soda all month, 20 pounds, I guarantee you. You can get rid of that, I'm telling you. And drink at aloe, it could be more than that because I'm telling you, your body has so much sodium in it. It is has so much water retention from all the soda that you've been drinking because of all of the sodium. Whew, you don't even realize how much weight you can lose just from getting rid of those things. Soda and pork. Now, you might say, girl, you're doing too much because I'm not trying to get rid of pork right now. That's fine. That's you. You have to determine how serious you are about your weight loss and what you're going to give up, risk, and let go of. Okay? Now, me, it was all in or nothing. I was like, I'm giving it up. Let me tell you how bad it was. I went cold turkey that my blood sugar dropped very low was not good wasn't healthy for me but that's how serious i was now i'm not saying i want you to be so serious that you mess yourself up because of a lot of things you cannot go cold turkey off of but knowing me if i didn't if i hadn't i would 
continue to still be doing those same things that caused me to actually gain the weight that I had on me. So I had to. That was just for me, okay? Um, meal prepping, very important. And what you are going to eat. Now, why didn't you count calories, Miss Motivation? Because it was too complicated for me. I don't like nothing complicated. Anything complicated, I will not do. So uh, for me, I have to keep things very simple. Um, and another important thing for me is I had to put in my mind that I need to start being active. Whether it was 15 to 20 minutes a day, you need to make a commitment. Is your life worth it? Is your health worth it? Make a commitment on going to the gym 15 to 20 minutes, three times a week per day. And do that for two weeks. After those two weeks, start staying in the gym an hour. You should be able to do it by then. Just give yourself 20 to 25 minutes, three times a week. Then go from there. I guarantee you are going to see results. I did. I couldn't believe it because I felt like, and let me tell you, I was only doing 15 minutes sometimes in the gym. When I started off in the gym, honey, I remember getting on a, a piece of exercise and equipment. I did it for one minute. It was like, uh-uh, this is just too much. I can't do this. 236 pounds. I had so much weight on me that I did not want to to do anything when I went in gym and it was an embarrassment really and I, I was fighting a battle with myself nobody was in there looking at me hollering about you know look at that big girl getting on at her you know she can't even nobody was doing that it was all me it was in my head it was in my brain I was insecure because I was not secure within myself so I'm thinking, I was thinking, everybody's watching me. Nobody was watching me. Everybody's in there trying to get in and do the same thing that I was doing. Very important. Remember that. Who cares what other people think? Get in there. Do it for yourself. That's the only way. And don't wait on nobody else to do it with you. You'll never get, it will never happen if you wait on somebody else. You have to be determined and for yourself that's the only way you're gonna make it because when it all boils down to it at the end of the day the only person that you have is you so you have to make that decision okay um the next thing so you're recognizing goals number one and you want to ask yourself what those goals are number two you want to ask yourself how you plan to reach the goal. Number three, your healthy eating, changing eating habits, sacrificing, giving up things. Okay. Number four, meal prep. And just make it simple. Turkey, fish, chicken. You can do all kinds of things with those items. You can make stir fries. You can make soups. You can make... Um, bake it um you can i mean there is so much that you can do with those it's incredible okay also incorporate i did rice too i did rice white rice and brown rice i did them both people were like oh rice is not good for you you'll gain weight this and that but it's it's not what you eat it's how you eat it now when it comes to things like that that now i'm not saying with uh sugars and all that because yeah you're not going to lose off sugar so please don't get that in your head don't twist what i'm telling you to benefit you so you can justify why you're eating sweets because that's not what i'm trying to do i'm here to help you i don't want to hurt you and i don't want you to hurt yourself trying to make excuses or to justify why that you are still feeling like you're going to eat sweets or why you're going to do this or do that no not here for that 
So, and then um, staying active, the next one. Um, and that's what I was saying, going to the gym, spending 15, 20 minutes. It is better if you make a commitment than join a gym. Do it at home. You're not going to really stick with it as much, I don't think. Because maybe I'm just saying that because that's me. I cannot just, I can't just do it at home. I have to really get out of the house and actually, that's just, that's what makes me do it. Because I'm getting out of the house and I know once I'm out of the house, I have to do it. I have to. So, um, that's another important factor. And like I said, just start off small, 20, 25 minutes a day, three times a week. So, um, after you do that, make it a goal to weigh yourself one time a week. That way you can see where your progress is. And can I just tell you this, guys? When I started out, and a lot of people always say, I don't have time. Where can I find the time to do that, Miss Motivation? Get a journal. Please get a journal and write down what your goal is on page number one. Write down what you plan to do on page number two. I'm going to eat this. I'm going to give up this. And I'm going to exercise for this amount of time. And then on the next pages, every day, I want you to write down breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I want you to write down everything that you ate. Remember, breakfast is small, dinner is small, lunch is your biggest meal. More veggies than protein. More veggies. Overload yourself with veggies. Eat them like they're going out of style, like you're getting ready to have a drought, and that you know that you just are not going to be able to get enough. Eat them, okay? Eat plenty of vegetables. And remember, in between that, you have to make sure you snack. So let me give you the times for breakfast. Breakfast in the morning should be between 5.30 to 6.30 a.m., Set your alarm. This is what it's got to be, guys. Okay? Now, after that, since lunch is going to be at 12 o'clock, which is going to be your heaviest meal, 6 30, 7 30, 8 30, 9 30, 10 30, 11 30, 12 30. So at 7, let me see, wait a minute. 6 30, 7 30, 8 30. At 9.30, you are going to have a snack. And a snack meaning a bowl of blueberries, some cut up cucumber, a couple of uh, sticks of celery, um, a few raisins, um, something like that. Something very light. Okay? and plenty of water with your snack. Now, 12 o'clock lunch. Lunch is gonna be your biggest meal, okay? And remember, feeding your body every three hours is going to keep that metabolism boosted, going, working, everything's gonna be flowing, and if you're drinking water, then you're gonna take in and you're gonna push out. Take in and you're gonna push out. So as long as you're taking in water, that everything that you take in, you are going to get rid of the waste. Okay, so that means you're going to have regular bowel movements once you start doing this properly and staying on it. And you eat three times a day, you're going to boost that metabolism. And guess what happens after that? Weight loss starts happening because you're getting rid of, you're taking in your food and you're getting rid of waste and you're keeping that metabolism going, which is pumping strong and it's boosting your metabolism up. And finally, you just start dropping weight. Now, you need a boost. You need a vitamin to take. Get you some B12. Take you some B12. That helps with your metabolism, okay? Take that. So, lunchtime is at 12. 3 o'clock, you want to have another small snack. So, say you had 
blueberries for your first snack. So your second snack, go ahead and get you some veggies. A small bowl around about this big, a handful of broccoli. Um, any dip, if you want dip, vinaigrettes only. And with your salads, vinaigrettes only. Nothing pure white, nothing, no thousand allen, no French, none of that. All vinaigrette dressings, period. If you want to really lose weight, that's what you have to have. And do not use iceberg lettuce, romaine, kale, spinach, arugula, that's it. None of that other stuff, okay? I'm, I'm, none of that other stuff. Listen to what I'm saying. I kept it simple for breakfast. I ate oatmeal. I kept it simple. And when I first started off, because I really didn't know, I ate two boiled eggs and two slices of bacon. Also. So, it was either two boiled eggs and two slices of bacon, that was breakfast, or it was going to be oatmeal and I also incorporated a half of a grapefruit when I ate the bacon and the um, boiled eggs so that was you know breakfast for me now so snack at three o'clock and like I said handful of veggies you know something of that sort cucumber whatever um, now five 45 to 6.45. Let's just say 6.45 to 7.15, okay? Because it's going to kill some people. That is dinner. Now, dinner is your smallest meal. You can have you a cup of soup, a cup of soup, and a piece of romaine lettuce with tuna on it okay or you can have you a you want something very small and light okay something very small and something light stay away from bread stay away from starches stay away from sugars if you can okay you will lose weight i promise you so but you got to stick with that um Let's see. I want to make sure I'm telling you everything. After dinner, no more snacking, honey. After you eat, everything's cut off for the rest of the night. So from that time on, there is no more of anything. No more eating, no more snacking. Don't get up in the middle of the night snacking. You're going to have to hold out and keep telling yourself, listen, I'm trying to lose weight. So I'm not getting up in the middle of the night and eating. I'm not getting up. Do not eat and lay down on your food. Cut eating off at no later than if you if everybody sits down and have dinner at 7:15 by 8 o'clock you're done. Nothing else. No more zip nada. No period point blank dot. Okay. So those are the most important steps for your weight loss journey. Um, I really want you to get this guys. This is very important. I hope you were here writing these down um, Because All these steps are the number one key that will allow you that will assist you on your weight loss journey It will actually help you lose weight. I promise you this worked for me, trust me, when my dietitian was like, you need to eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner and snack in between. I said, honey, do you see how big I am? I eat one time a day and I am looking like Miss Piggy. And that was the truth. I was eating one time a day. But guess what? Once she got me to eating like this, it was so crazy because I was so scared. I thought I was going to gain. I started losing weight. Because my metabolism was working every three hours because I was putting something in my mouth every three hours. And it was only a handful of something. It wasn't a big plate. I wasn't overdoing it. But it was just something to keep my metabolism going that kept it boosted and kept me going to the bathroom the way that I was supposed to. Because remember back then at 236 pounds, I might have went once a week. Yeah, it was that bad. 
and that is not good. If you're not having regular bowel movements, it's because you're not eating something. You're not eating right. You're eating the wrong things, like a lot of beef, which lays in and on your stomach for two to four days. And while, trust me, while something is just laying on your stomach that you didn't indulged in, what could it be doing in your body? It ain't sitting in there giving off nutrition, right? It's sitting in your body and it's rotten. So if anything's sitting in your body and rotten, do you know what that's going to cause? Why it's rotten in your body? Gas, bloatedness, inflammation, and you're going to feel full and miserable all day long. Because you're going to be feel bloated. I lived like that daily. That's what I felt like. That's what my life was. Every single day. I looked like a bloated... I, I don't even know how to explain it. But I'm, I'm telling you. I was just like... So unhappy, guys. So unhappy. Sorry. I was so unhappy. So, um, just like, you know, depressed. Um, I just, it was hard for me. It was rough. And people really did not know how, how rough it was for me. And it was just really, um, uh uh, just kind of hurtful that I ever ever even let myself get like that, you know. And I just truly, I had to pray and kind of just like, Lord, you know, I really need help on this journey. I do not want to be like this for the rest of my life. I really need your help. Uh, and I truly did. I mean, it was. I don't know why this went so dark. I truly did need um help i mean i was just like look at me <laughs> do i look like that anymore look at my i have a neck now i have a, a face you can see my well right now you can't but you can see some of my collarbone i've never i have not seen that since i was like in i don't know what grade i was in You see that picture guys I'm really here I really want to help you and if you really want me to help you please stick around to my channel look at look at my breast look at that look at my stomach I looked pregnant I was bloated I was so miserable guys so depressed look at my arms I mean I still got arms but they don't look like that okay stomach don't look like I used to not at all I don't look like where I come from you know but and I, I definitely thank God for that because my eating habits was terrible my eating habits was bad okay I didn't eat a whole lot I ate one meal a day and I never ever wasted any food if it was on my plate whether I was full or not I ate it that was, I did not believe in wasting food. But now, you put it in front of me, if I'm full, you know, I'm done. Now, if it's really good, sometimes I might go ahead and eat it, you know. But, it's not like how it used to be. I'm not eating so much that, you know, I'm just, my, my health is at stake. Not at all. So, um... I'm I'm doing a lot better. I feel a lot better. I was 236 pounds. I got down to 165. You know, and I just, when I look, I keep that picture because I want to keep that to motivate me. And it does. So, guys, if um, you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now. Living Proof. And you're going to see more testimonies of friends that are actually doing things, not just comments that they're leaving testimony. There are people that want to help me, that don't mind giving a testimony, getting on here and helping you guys so you can actually hear and witness real life people that are actually doing these things that, um, that are seeing success. And um, I have another young lady on my job 
she went after she's seen and heard Miss Donna's testimony. She has went and got her stuff. She let me know today. So in the next week, hopefully we'll have her on there. And um, and they're willing to do it. They're not worried about what you think. Um, or they're just willing to do it because they want to do it. And they truly, I don't know. They just genuinely want to help me and my channel. And I truly, truly, truly appreciate it. Because, um, you know, some people would be scared to get on here and give their testimony. And that's fine. You know, to each their own. Everybody is different. But they absolutely, you've seen our environment at work. You, We're not looking the best at work on our job. We're hot. We're sweaty. And, you know, it's burning up in there. But for somebody to do that, that just made me feel like, you know, because I wanted to make sure that she was okay with that before I did it. But just her doing that, it just really, it made me... I don't know I could have like busted out in tears because I was just so happy for her and then instantly you know her willingness to want to help me and to share my videos on her Facebook page and she did that day like it really it just really made me feel great you know when people I truly believe you know what you put out God gives it back in return and I feel like that um with me being able to trying to help people, um, to see other people trying to help me are this willing to just, you know, hey, I'll share your videos on my Facebook. I have this many, um, you know, followers and I share stuff all the time and I definitely will share your stuff, girl. You know, I believe in you. You help me. You know, I'm losing weight because of this or because of that. And it just makes me feel good because that was my goal starting off with my channel is just basically to help people and like I said if I if out of 10 followers if I've only had 10 followers then all that I've helped was two people out of the 10 I still feel like that I'm blessed because I still feel like I have reached a goal that of basically just helping somebody and that just that means more to me than anything so all my new subscribers I just want to say welcome to the family I hope that you guys stick around. I hope that you guys enjoy the content. I hope you got something out of this content today. I can't wait for this video to upload because, and I hope that you got out your notebook and you wrote down this stuff. This is very, very important, guys, starting on your journey. And then along with your journey, when you want to, you can start, you go to the um, little Hispanic grocery store, get your moringa, go to the, the store tomorrow, Walmart, um, Kroger's and get your aloe vera juice start that before you get your 310 nutrition and go ahead and get that water weight off of you go ahead and, and, and start losing weight like right away baby it only it doesn't take very long but don't take my word for it go listen to the testimony I just put the video up yesterday I know the quality is not as good as it is right now but it's very worth it to hear. You can hear her testimony as clear as day. And I just thank God. I appreciate everything that everybody's trying to do as far as helping me and how everybody's helping my channel grow, how they are, everybody's consistent with leaving comments. My girl, Alicia, she has been consistent from day one. I truly, 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 truly appreciate it. I don't know what I would do. And finally, I reached my goal of 100 subscribers. I have a little bit more than that, but I am so thankful to God because God is a faithful God. And he has truly, truly blessed me. And I just feel blessed. I feel blessed. So, guys, subscribe to my channel. If you are not a subscriber, hit that um, subscription button. And I want you to hit that bell so that you can get notifications of every video. Do it right now. And leave me a comment. Give me a thumbs up. If you can't write a paragraph in the comment, and you don't have to. I'm not asking you to do that. Leave a smiley face, a heart. Leave a mean face, some a sad face. If you feel like my content wasn't good or if I could have did better because you don't really have time to really write down on there. But then, then maybe later come back and, and write on there. I will follow up with everything, every comment that I have. I try to and I'll try to get back to you guys. I don't care if I had a hundred 
thousand subscribers. I'm just gotta work hard, even harder, to make sure that I can leave a comment back on you guys that are actually leaving comments. And if you got a YouTube channel, I'm definitely gonna check you out. Definitely after you've taken the time to check me out and to subscribe to my channel, baby, I'm gonna support you. You support me. I love you guys. This is Miss Motivation. I guess I will see you in my next video. I got some more stuff for you, and I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this was great, and I hope you all the success on your journey of weight loss. Bye.